Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the wonderful review and uh, today we're going to take a deep dive look into this surprisingly polarizing game from Naughty Dog, um, The Last of Us Part 2. Um, let's go right ahead and um, let's talk about it. I'm your host Wonderbread and we got a couple surprise guests with us today. We um, Joining us we got the co-host from the Winning Rotation podcast, Kendall. What's up? And we got our own local Seattle artist. Um, is it Medina or M Medina? What is it? Which one is it? Both. Whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> whatever we want. Okay. Okay. People say Medna though. Medna. We just say Medna. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's okay. whatever. I'll take it. So we're gonna break into we're gonna break into this game in four different categories: presentation, gameplay, characters, and story. And then at the end, we'll give out our final thoughts to wrap up the video um and then like a final score oh we gotta go get a score well if you want if you want to <laughs> I, 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 I if you want to like, it's either i liked it or i didn't like it okay if, if you want well i'm gonna give a number because i like i like giving numbers yeah, yeah um, that's fine we're gonna start off easy we're gonna talk about presentation um and for me at least when you're going to a presentation this is probably the best looking game since Red Dead 2 and New God of War. Um, probably not as breathtaking as God of War because that game had a lot of like colossal um, scenery and, you know, mythical stuff. But but this game, it was very claustrophobic, but very detailed um, based in Seattle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, speaking of Seattle, this the game, like even Seattle is like really it's really um what apocalyptic and damaged it apparently it got blown up from a bomb and it still looks gorgeous um and just looking at how everything is destroyed it looks like some i don't know some ruined aztec looking world and you get to see like uh special landmarks like uh pax the, um, the convention over there you get to see CenturyLink field which surprised me i was like holy shit that's CenturyLink field um i believe that was that the paramount theater where dina and ellie yeah okay yeah, yeah okay mm -hmm. that's what i thought and then um yeah um there's also uh animations animation looks amazing um i'm not sure if you have if you guys have any other you know um details about presentation um yeah go ahead i was well i was gonna add on to the animations it was like the the mocap with like the facial detail it's mm -hmm. like a lot better oh yeah because you can see like like ellie's emotions a lot better um like her facial expressions and even when you're like choking people out like oh yeah her face Jesus. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's crazy um and then i don't know if you guys played around with mirrors in the game but like mm. you can like make faces in the mirror and stuff and i think there's like someone pointed out i've seen this one but like after a certain point like she can't look herself in the mirror. What? Really? Really? Yeah, like she didn't want to look. Like she would look Whoa. away from it. Whoa. Um, okay. Um so What part of the game was that? that? I don't know. I'll have to find it again. Um, but yeah, I was like, holy shit. That's crazy. But like, I mean, I think it was like this in the first game too, where you have like you put the flashlight on someone, they kind of cover their their eyes. Uh. Um, but like even crawling around too. There's just so many like small interactions like that though, where like you don't some i think wonderbread you were wondering about like uh could you break the glass of the vending machine yes yes and you did it and you're like huh or like you i was surprised you didn't know that you could i didn't want to spoil it for you but you were wondering if you could break the window with like your gun yeah and but, like i knew that you could do that because that was the first thing i tried when i played the game i was like can i just break everything with my guns um but like the rope physics <laughs> Oh, like, that was stuff was yeah, like super impressive. That was borrowed from Uncharted Four. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, same with the uh, the 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 gun uh like loops. The gun loops. The, uh, oh, you mean when you have the, like their, the strap the on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. like yeah. dangling around and stuff. Yeah, they took that from Uncharted too. Um, someone showed a clip of like if you go into the water with your backpack on. And then you come out. Not just your backpack's wet, but if you take out your journal, it's soaking. Oh, like all stuff with it. okay. 
and I was like, oh, like that, that's dope. Um, but also just like, I don't know the overall environment, I will say like, uh, like the lighting felt really good Mm -hmm. and like it creeped you out if you knew the lighting was going Mm -hmm. away. Yeah. (laughs) It definitely just put you in, in a, uh, like a tense, tense emotion, um, or a tense state. Um, but I don't know. I thought like, and even Seattle, like I thought they did it justice. Like it looked really good. Yeah. They definitely did their homework. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, about the the glass breaking I had because like in the first game I think you could only throw bricks and bottle glasses at um, glasses or windows to get through, mm-hmm. and yeah, again I just came off finishing the first game and I'm like, huh? And some of my viewers like, can you like punch it, punch like the uh, vending machine or hit the window? I'm like, I don't know, I haven't really tried it. It'll be cool if I could use my gun just smack it. It'll be realistic. And I tried it. I'm like, oh my god, game of the year. Um. But other than that, there's like, I think um, the overgrown in Seattle, like there's so much vegetation with like tall grass and um, just overwhelming of trees. It looks like like a legit concrete jungle, you know, and yeah. um, yeah, yeah. And it, it's very different um, with all the settings when you're at um, Seattle and then you're also in Santa Barbara near the end. You can see it's, it's totally different. It's, it's just like. I don't know. Um, it's like some I Am Legend type of vibes. Um, and then, um, yeah, I like the... I, I just really like the animation. It make, It's so immersive because, like, when I'm panicking... When you, if you guys watch my gameplay, I'm, like, panicking when um, I'm in a firefight. And when Ellie and Abby take out her backpack and get things, it takes a while. And I'm, like, trying to mash this button just to get this rifle out. And then she had to put on the backpack back and... I think it's really it's really um cool yeah mm. and then um and also the melee hits the melee mm. it's um i mean gears of war is really it, it's really something else but i think man last was two i i can't look i can't look at their facial reactions because it's it's it looks real it looks really real when um you smack someone with a machete through the head and um yeah i don't know um They're, the sounds they make is crazy too when you shoot yeah. someone's like arm off or their yes legs, they just start yes. screaming yes like, oh my god yeah there's an oscar um yeah those details were i shot a i believe a clicker on the leg and i thought i killed it because i got the reticle it says red if you get the red x reticle you yeah. killed it i shot the leg off and it's still trying to it's screaming but still trying to grab me i'm like holy shit but like those little details it looks I don't know. It looks really. It looks like I'm playing a movie. That that and that's what Naughty Dog is really good at making these type of um, single player narrative games. Yeah. You guys have any final takes on the presentation? To me, it's like, and maybe just it's just because we because we're naturally because we're at the end of the like the console life cycle. Like to me, it is the greatest looking game I've played. Like personally. Mm-hmm. But I haven't played God of War or Uncharted 4 or um, I didn't play too much of Red Dead. So, you know, I'm sure those are all different looking environments. But like to me, just like not just the scenery, but like the the level of detail mm-hmm. um, all looked really good to me. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I'd probably put this up there. Like it'd probably be number one. God of War is good, but I feel like they put a lot more detail and like texture in this game. Mm-hmm. Um compared to like red dead as well red dead's really good too but i think this is like maybe like five percent better than red dead it's like not too far off but they're like kind of head to head yeah i'm pretty sure if you would want to show off your your system or your like your man cave and you boot up last of us too i'm pretty sure you can fool your family like this is a movie oh yeah i yeah you know what i'm put this number one there's like a lot of scenes in here that I just remembered. Like, it just like it looks. If you take a picture, it looks real. Yeah. yeah. And we could maybe I don't know if it's we could verify it, but from what I read, the cutscenes in this game versus number one, the cutscenes were happening real time. Hmm. Oh. Um. And I think I found out because there's that scene where when you're Abby and after Tommy just shot Manny, um, and you exit out the there's two there's actually two doors you could exit out the um 
the restaurant in through. And okay. I think one person, I think you went out, I watched you play and you went out one door and the other person I was watching went out the other door. Um, so like the same cutscene happens, but in different places, which oh. I thought was impressive. So like rather than triggering like a pre pre rendered cutscene, they did that. And I think that's the reason you can't go back and watch cutscenes. That's what I read. Oh, it's uh-huh. like because it's because they're rendering in real time. Oh, okay. Which I don't pros and cons. It's impressive to me, but like I do wish that you could just go back and and watch everything. Watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, now on the gameplay part, this is one of um a lot of people's bad takes. Um, apparently, surprisingly, I'm like, I didn't have any problems with the gameplay. I was having a blast, but um, now yeah, we're gonna talk about the gameplay. Um, did you guys have any issues with the gameplay? Like, I kind of did. Like, a little like bit. what? Which part? Um, it's more like little. I'd say I'm being more nitpicky. Yeah. Um, because yeah. it's good. Like I had fun too. Uh, I didn't have any problems. It was smooth. Um, but the, uh, I, it's like things I wish that the game improved on cause the AI is bad. Like, yeah, it, it's yeah. bad. The AI is so dumb. And wait, uh, did you play on normal? I played on normal. Okay. So it, it, to me, I was like, all right, maybe it's just normal mode. And then I'm playing new game plus and I boosted it up to survivor to see what it was like. Uh-huh. It, they're still dumb. I'm like, what yeah. the hell? I watched someone really more crawl... accurate. They're just like a lot accurate what they're doing. I watched someone crawl their whole way through the uh the first inter like when the first time you meet the uh the scars on really? Survivor. I watched them just crawl what around the... all of them. Man. And like Yeah, I was like, huh. I feel like you should get no like I wish that they uh the enemies heard you more. Yeah. Because you definitely make a lot of noise. So Okay. So I'm getting a different experience. I thought, okay, so I thought the AI was um, impressively smart in my in my experience. If you guys watch me, were like, so um, here's a good side. I have two good and bad side of the um, behavior of the AI. So the good side of the um, AI is um, they change a lot from the first game because if you see me play the first game, and Francis, he knows that when. <laughs> Um, you can tell this AI stupid in the first game where like I'm drawing I'm drawing a whole bunch of um people and they know where I'm at and I throw a random like object over over them and once they hear that sound they turn around and look at that sound. Yeah. So but in this game they improved on it and you you catch me throwing like a bottle of brick over there. Yeah, and they don't do anything. They don't do anything. And I was impressed on that part and there is little details like that where there's one part where I was creeping up behind a guy with my flashlight on. He doesn't know I'm behind him, but he turned around right away. He's like, there you are. I'm like, oh, shit, he saw my... He is the flashlight. That was in the first one, too. I, I uh, Wait, wait, let me recall if you, like, approach them. Yeah, uh, with your flashlight. Oh, flashlight really? It was in the first one, too. It's just the infected don't see the flashlight for both. Oh, ones. really? I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. It... It doesn't matter what difficulty, because in the, yeah. when I played medium or Actually, normal, I, I didn't get that. Oh, oh, and yeah, I didn't get that in the first playthrough. I'm like, I had my flashlight all the time. I think it's supposed to. Pretty oh. sure. Um, oh. but yeah, th- I think the only thing that I saw that was improved was that brick thing, where it okay. was like, oh, they don't care about that because they know where you are. And yeah. and then um, like towards the end of the game where uh. I was um, hitting pe- hitting the scars with my bow and arrow, and I keep saying, "How did I get alerted?" And then you said, "Like uh, his friends saw him die." I guess they have like a vision cone that you you know apparently they have an eyesight. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so that was I thought that was impressive because I thought well, like because in, in the first game I knock one down and so, so people next to him they're not going to hear it because they're just stupid AI and and um, people from afar they're not going to see of course, but apparently they see my. My kills, they were like, holy shit. Um, yeah, at first I was thinking that, but then, uh, so I'm playing New Game Plus now, and then I uh, I shot a explosive arrow at someone, mm-hmm. um, and, like, no one saw it. They just heard the explosion, and then for some reason, there's, like, two bots walking, creeping toward my position. I'm like, are you kidding me? That makes no sense. And they spotted me in the grass. I'm like, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think there's like some weird AI like or like coding that was like, all right, if you kill someone, they're just gonna kind of lurk to you anyway. Mm-hmm. Kind of dumb, because that was in the first one too. But the first one was like worse. It was like a lot worse. I mean, I don't know. Uh, to me, like, like I think the criticism of the AI is fair because like it's not they're not dumb, right? Like mm-hmm. that's not that's not the argument. It's not like terrible or a game breaker, mm-hmm. but it's just like there are times where like you feel like you're getting away with too much. Mm-hmm. Like I, I some, there's t- sometimes where I, like, I do something. I'm like, it's really risky. And like, I feel like I should, I want to feel the consequence of that. Mm-hmm. of like making a lot of noise or like sneaking up on someone when like someone's not too far away from me. Mm-hmm. Right? Like I kill one person. I'm, I'm dragging them to the ground. Someone could be kind of close to you and does not see you at all uh, or hear you at all. Like you're not silent when you do that, but it's like a minor complaint. And I think what, uh, Francis said was like it's nitpicky and I agree mm-hmm. um, but I think my other complaint was that there's sometimes where like the puzzles were a little repetitive or like unnecessary like mm-hmm. when you go to a room and you have to find another way out of the room like I think you do that maybe maybe too many times but yeah, again it's a, a it's, a nit- it's nitpicky it's just like but to me like I don't know it's like there's not a lot of value that I get out of it. I think some sometimes it makes sense where like it actually makes sense for the story. Mm-hmm. Like the whole thing is blocked off. But there's sometimes where you're just like, oh, I have to end up just crawling through a vent here for just because that they wanted me to. Mm-hmm. But again, minor complaint doesn't ruin the game in my opinion. Um. Also, going back to the the AI behavior. Um, this is where I had a problem in the first. Um, like the first what first hour or first two first two hours when you finally um encounter enemies um and and it goes throughout the whole game the ai the they are they're all scripted and i didn't like that because it felt very outdated it felt like um like a current or a last gen type of thing where like um when everyone's on patrol they're on a they're on a scripted route and you just have to wait for the, like, all right, I'm just going to wait for I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to memorize that guy's pattern. I'm memorize that guy's pattern, memorize that guy's pattern. And you're just planning what or how you're going to attack him, do all this. But in Last of Us 1, um, everything was free. And everyone, it felt like the AI had freedom to go wherever they want. And it's not scripted. So it feels like endless possibilities. And that's why there, there was a problem when I was playing the first game. I was like complaining, like, why do they, it feels like they're, really gravitating towards me for no reason when i'm not spotted but yeah in the first game it just feels like you know they didn't have a scripted route they're just going wherever they want and in this game it just they're going in circles in the same pattern and uh, i didn't like that um but i think once you get alerted i feel like they start to be freestyling i'm not sure yeah yeah i think once they catch you things get to be more dynamic and they start moving everywhere yeah, and they start to pressure you too, because when I'm like back against the wall, um, you hear like uh some of the characters in the back saying, "I'm pushing, I'm pushing," and then mm-hmm. one guy's taking cover, one guy has a huge axe, and then yeah, yeah. Um, did you? Yeah. Oh, you have something? I, like yeah, they yeah, just they they and they lose you pretty fast, which is dumb. Like, yeah, yeah. You go mm-hmm. behind cover and you just wait there for like what ten seconds and then they lose sight. They're like, okay, uh, let's clear out the place. Like, what? You had you had me cornered. It makes no sense. It like, was that the same on um hard difficulty? Yeah, I'm playing on hard now and it's like the same the same thing. Really? I'm like, what the hell? Um, they're just more accurate. Like they hit you way more often when what? you shoot. And then like, yeah, I just felt like I was playing like like Assassin's Creed AI. Mm-hmm. And what I wanted and hoped for was more of like a Metal Gear uh, Solid Five yeah. AI, and it's like what I wanted for like the stealth, especially because they incorporated the freaking prone function. So I was like, yes, yes. I was like, I want more out of this prone because it seemed like I was only using prone for like traversal through the, like story and yeah, and like grass. Mm-hmm. That was it. I'm like, there's no like hiding spots like beds and stuff there's like maybe like one or two situations where i saw a bed but i never used it I'm like, yeah heck? and kind of along while we're there on the topic of the proning 
Um, do you guys remember the E3 2018 gameplay trailer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wonder, but I think you got to the part where I was like, "Huh, this is the, <laughs> this is the E3 trailer." And yeah. You made the same comment, but I will say, has anyone tried? like being alerted and then crawling under a car and seeing if the enemy follows you. That's what I wanted to do, but I just want to get through the story, but I haven't yeah, done yeah. yeah, I want to try that. But what I will say is like, I was impressed that like, I remember when that shit came out and everyone was like, not gameplay. This is not gameplay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, dude, she took the, you could take the fucking arrow out like <laughs> in the game. Yeah. I was like, that's dope. Cause everyone was like, that's definitely not a, that's definitely not something that happens in the game. That's just scripted. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just like a mini cut scene. But, no, it ended up being like an actual part, um, and not just for Ellie, for for Abby too. Like, yeah, I thought that was, um, it's like the little details, you know, that actually like I feel like it's immersive, because mm-hmm. like you could you could just like most games, I feel like the way they'd handle that is you just heal yourself and the arrow will just disappear or some shit. Mm-hmm. But the fact that there's actually an effect to getting hit was was cool. Yeah, the little detail when I the first time I healed myself and I'm looking at Ellie wrapping the bandage, it actually sticks. It's not she's not doing some stupid Fortnite doing like some some dance uh, like this. I don't know. The, yeah. Gotta get the uh, jugs. Yeah, but yeah, the the bandage actually wraps around her arm, and then I think I um, healed myself again, and she does the other arm, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, the prone that it's a little thing. But it's really like groundbreaking for a stealth game like this, and yeah, um, yeah, you, you have a lot of options, and um, I think I just adding prone, and now you can jump. I, I get a lot of people had a problem with jump, oh, yeah. um, and wait, they did. Yeah, they added. I don't know. What? Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of people had a problem with the jump. They said it's unnecessary, but um, yeah, adding prone in the jump gives you a lot more tools now because um adding that with the way naughty dog um cr- create these uh arenas i, I won't say arenas but like the the level design when you're into yeah. these um the situations where you have to like sneak or at- um attack these guys and i think naughty dog did a really great job taking from the first game because the first game was pretty good of um setting up how you want to attack these guys, how you want to go through and, and mm-hmm. felt like, you know, you have freedom to do whatever. In this game, they took it to the next level where it's super open and you have these new tools to traverse through this arena. There's like, there's so many different ways. Like I haven't seen everyone do the same exact thing to keep, to get through a level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause every time I, ke- I finish that arena and I'm like looting, I'm like, Oh, I could actually do this part. I could go here. I could have done that. I could have done here. But, um, yeah, I like how these arenas are also, um, not only creative, but they're, they're pretty large because when I get, um, when I get a town, when I, when I get alerted and shit hits the fan, I decide like shit. I'm I'm just running. I'm booking it, right? I'm running. I'm freestyling it, and I'm running and running. I'm like, holy crap! This map is huge, and I'm still running from these guys. And um, yeah, I think that's really cool. It's um, because it, it it's supposed to be a linear game, but it doesn't feel like a linear game. Oh no! Yeah, Did there's you... like so many encounters in that yeah. game. Mm-hmm. You were talking about jumping. Did you? Oh, okay, this is what I wanted to share that I just learned. Did you know you could aerial attack? Wait, what? I was no, okay. Okay, what? I was trying to figure out if you could. I never did it, but I was wondering if that was. I saw. A thing. I saw a video on Reddit. Oh, I was like, fuck. someone's like, someone's like, I just found this out, and I'm towards, and I'm like, almost at the end of the game or something. And oh my God. yeah, they were Ellie, and they jumped off. Like the people were looking for her, and she just jumped off and tackled someone to the ground from the air. I, dude, I, I wanted to do missed. that. Um, and then uh, someone was like if anyone tries it with abby can you let us know if it's just like a super saiyan landing <laughs> like everyone just everyone just <laughs> gets blown away <laughs> um but no definitely try that because i was like i think the part the thing is like you're so you're off like i feel like most of the game like you don't feel like you're in control mm-hmm. like you feel like your back's against the wall and you're trying to find a way out so like you're not thinking of like I'm just gonna jump on this person and just beat the shit out of them, right? Like yeah, it might work. It might work if it's like the last person in the room. Mm-hmm. But I think that's the thing is like, um, it's you're probably not gonna be able to do it frequently. But 
to me that was dope that like and i felt like that a lot in the game we're like i'm gonna try this and see what happens mm-hmm. and yeah like, oh, it, it worked um yeah there's there's times where I'm, I'm super vertical and i feel like i can just batman drop but i'm like i'm not sure how to do it and i'm not sure if it'll work so i just stay away from it and um if it i gotta try it if it if it does work or i mean you're saying it, you're confirming it works that's yeah, probably something I from I don't know if you can see this real fast but oh shit oh shit hold on oh what okay it's so i'm it's definitely something they took from uncharted 4 was that uncharted 4 francis when you were yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's that wondering yeah there's, like, no, they took way, a lot from that there's no way people can say gameplay didn't change like, mm-hmm. as right? a yeah there's no way there's no way because even ellie feels different than controlling joel and mm-hmm. abby looked like she feels different than controlling ellie like there there's no way someone could say that it's exactly the same Oh yeah, I like. Abby the... was more like Joel, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like to talk about the differences between um, Ellie and Abby, and yeah, they they play. I like how they play differently when you're um when you are open with the same mechanics. Um, Ellie has a butterfly knife, and she can kill, um, basically anyone, and then Abby is more Rambo. She, she's with the guns and she has all these cool like um it's what we call it military weapons and yeah i like how they're both different um yeah i'm not sure if you guys have any thoughts on um you know the split gameplay from the characters um i'm kind of annoyed that uh abby has to use shivs it makes no sense to me but i'm like all right whatever it's for i guess the people who like Mm-hmm. That, uh, mechanic but i'm glad they changed the shiv mechanic because the first one was so annoying it was like there's no point of using a shiv on enemies because you have to use them to open secret doors to get more loot mm-hmm. and like upgrades and stuff so i'm glad they took that out mm-hmm. um but yeah abby was abby was dope like just mailing people with your fists was it felt satisfying yeah um Another thing, did you guys know you could do like combos, like, like different combos? You mean like combos instead of mashing I square? You could quarter it circle. Says, it says if you strike again as soon as your first strike lands, it'll just start a combo. I just read something. Huh. I don't know. You guys should just try it. I guess find huh. out because because usually it's like hit them and then dodge, hit them and dodge, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Dude, oh, the dodge mechanic too. Yes. Man, oh, yeah. that, that yeah. mechanic alone is amazing. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, I was it gonna... feels so rewarding, right? Yeah. Like, when you pull off a really clean uh, kill because mm-hmm. you dodge them, mm-hmm. and then, like the counter, If it, I don't know. It looks really good. Yeah, that... I think, because they... I believe it took a lot from Uncharted 4 with, when you have these 1v1 um, boss battles. Um I'm not yeah. sure if you remember Francis with uh your Drake versus that one um that one chick. Oh Nadine. Nadine, yeah. yes. Um yeah, and I think they took that and decided like, how about let's um put it in gameplay, like it doesn't have to be a boss. And I think I had a feeling like Naughty Dog just replayed the first game and be like, Why can't I just keep punching this runner and um without mm. you know, um with a conflict or or just eating eating damage, right? Because mm-hmm. um like if they're gonna if we're just gonna trade blows it doesn't you know make sense. Um this one it has like a strategic feel where like I can actually react to the attacks. And um yeah, reacting to attacks is when I feel like I it's like Batman, right? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull this off clean, but when you get hit one time you get pissed, I'm like, I should have blocked that or like dodged that or something because I don't know, it's like it's so quick. I don't know. But yeah, overall the dodge mechanic was a nice touch. Um, some people don't like either. I don't know. These, these are this little this little nitpicky stuff. They said the dodge mechanic is very uh, repetitive. I'm like, it's not. It's not. It's not about repetitive. It's just like adding to the, um how you could um um fight like anyone. I don't know. Yeah, especially like, it'd be annoying just, like, to not have it. I guess what I'll say is like that's only a fair criticism if those people say it for every other game. Like, what game doesn't... You know what I'm saying? Like, most games have some sort of repetitive mechanic, right? Mm-hmm. Like, But my concern is that a lot of the reviews I see 
there's some valid criticisms, but a lot of them are just like nitpicky stuff like that. That like does it actually does that actually bring the game down to a zero out of ten for you? Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and it's not it's not like a broken mechanic yet either because you have to time it. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Because while you're yeah, while Kendall was saying it's rewarding, so it's like can't just mash it. And I like how you can like the dodge defend yourself against clickers because in the first game you can't fight a clicker. You're screwed. Like if you get you know, a clicker gets next yeah. to you, you're you're done. You're, you have to restart yeah. the whole thing. But yeah, you can actually dodge them, which is really nice. Um I haven't actually dodged a bloater or one of those shimmy shammy sham gods, whatever you like <laughs> to call them. <laughs> um Is there even a blow I don't think we've ever saw a bloater. Yeah, the big dudes. Not not the um the one they gas up. The you know the one where you face in the arcade it was like a boss battle. There's one where you're with Joel in the flashback, and then you, you thought you died, but oh yeah, that was the one. Yeah, yeah, that was a bloater. So there was two bloaters, but yeah, surprisingly the bloaters here are actually scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you run through the freaking walls. And yeah, stuff. they yeah. they're like some juggernaut X Men shit. But I I think the reason why they feel scary is because. I think they got bigger, and two, when you encounter one, you're in this really small space, and you're trying to, you know, dodge it when it runs at you, and you're like, oh my god, I don't have any room. Um, yeah. Um, also, um, here's another thing that kind of bothered me with, I think it adds to the AI behavior as well. Um, in the first game, they give you options if you want to sneak through or do you want to fight them and you can pull it off um i mean i guess the success rate for both is like you know uh, fair enough but in this game i feel like um man uh after the the intro it just started to become like man i want to sneak i want to see if i can pull it off but then at the like near your halfway through your game plan, it ends up being a firefight, and I'm like, oh no! And I, and it has to do with like, um, the new stuff, like especially the dogs. The dogs is a nice yeah, touch. Yeah. I like the dogs. It's a nice touch. It, it it's like another obstacle course that you have to deal with. But once once you see a dog, you know you're in for a firefight. You know you have to kill a dog, and it sucks. And I can't. There's no way I can go through without attacking anyone so uh, that's that's my um one of my cons that you just, uh, yeah you gotta go for the uh the dog and the uh the owner first yeah um, this is about where i stopped but like it was a little after you get the arrows for the first time but like that was my strategy was like shoot the dog and the owner <laughs> in the head with arrows right away I, like because i shot i the... don't feel it's fucked up but i don't feel as much pain when i was killing the dog <laughs> I was like, I'm doing it, man. I gotta live. Did you get caught for doing that? Because I got caught shooting the owner first, and then um, the dog barked, and then everyone was like, oh, shit. No, that's why I, I shoot the dog first. Oh, okay. So the I'm not sure if I have the, the fast draw speed. <laughs> shoot the dog first, and then the person's like, huh, huh, and then... I, I, <laughs> I guess, I'm, not, I'm not sure people, if I want to try Most that. normal people are going to not kill the dogs. Do what they can to not kill the dogs. I am not those people, and I apologize if you're offended, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I throw Molly on the owner and the dog. Oh, the man, time. come on. Come on. It, was, it was messed up. I cut the dog. Damn. Um, but yeah, I think I, I got to try it for all the, um, for all the encounterments with all the enemies because I felt like in the beginning... I, I I'm not, I'm not sure what part, but like, I snuck through the whole area, and I, this is the door that I have to go through. But it looks like it, it forces me like, oh, I have to kill all these guys, then I can go through that door. And I'm like, so I don't have the option if I sneak through. So I think I need to, I might have to try that on easy level because, um, I just want to test that out. Mm. But but yeah, that that's my con of being forced to fight because i want to be badass and sneak through like metal gear true yeah um i don't know we got anything else to say on gameplay um, yeah the um actually you can go no no um 
I was wondering if you have any more on gameplay. Oh, um, yeah, we were saying the easy mode stuff. So I'm doing New Game Plus, and I you can actually, like, edit the way... It's crazy. You can fully edit what you want to be hard mode and what you want to be easy mode. So it's, like, full spectrum of, like, just different things you can edit. So you make a custom mode, basically. Okay. Um, so I turned down... Or no, I turned... Well, I guess turned down the passiveness of your teammate AI because you know how like your teammates just like useless Uh uh-huh um so I turned it to like easy mode uh AI and it's actually a lot more realistic I think they actually kill like more often Mm. and they actually like kind of work with you a little better I'm like oh my god it should be the real AI shit really or like at least the enemy AI like it just feels like they're doing something but it could be broken though but there's not that many levels that you're you have teammates though so Mm -hmm. um i just looked at the settings last night and there's a lot of stuff you can customize like the hud Mm -hmm. um i just heard about the ai behavior where you can customize how you however you want them to be but i was really impressed how you can map your controls yeah, that's for, one of my pluses. Right like there. for a console game, like PC, you, mm-hmm. you do that for a lot of games. But for a console game, you can map your controls. You can customize how limit or how simplistic you want on your HUD. And yeah, you can just make the game like some Call of Duty hardcore. Dude, and it's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, I don't, I, I got no nothing to say for gameplay. I think that's all my, oh. my takes. Do you have more? Um, Guitar mechanic. Dude, oh, guitar? Geez. Oh my god. Have you seen people uh play songs on like like Red Hot Chili Peppers on there? It's like crazy. Someone uh someone pasted over the uh through the fire and flames. Oh, <laughs> really? Just, oh they, my they, god. They were just messing around. No, it was it was uh, fake, but they were just uh, like spamming <laughs> the buttons to make it look like Ellie was just going hard on it. Um <laughs> no wonder you skipped uh you skipped one of the uh, guitar scenes. Which one? You were like, I don't want to practice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there was another either. scene. Um, it, that no, was that wait, was the wait, one. Did you, did you get the one where in the music store with Dina? I got that one. I I missed it. Oh, uh, I think I I don't remember that one. She, but she uh, plays uh, she plays Take on Me. Yeah. Like, oh Ellie really? An acoustic version of it. Mm-hmm. And I just I don't know how I missed it. Oh. I guess I didn't go through that area. Was that the beginning yeah. where you step into Seattle Day One and then it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. yeah I didn't go Here through all guess. the buildings. I know I didn't go through all the buildings because I just wanted to. Again, I think the reason I put the game down was because like I wanted to get through the story so badly, mm. and then um, it just at for at, for a while I was just like, man, these battles are like there's too much tension. Like, yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna watch someone play it. Mm-hmm. That, that day one in Seattle took forever. Ever. Like, it was a long time. That's why I was like, dude, I'm still here getting gas. That's what I'm doing is getting gas, and then yeah. you get the gas, and it's just like. I don't know. It felt like I'm just walking this whole time. Like it just feels <laughs> empty for a while. Like I think that day yeah. started so slow and it kind of dragged. I was like, oh God. And then you finally pick up on Tommy's trail and you're like, all right, that is when the game starts. Um yeah. well, what I like about like these open segments, just like in Uncharted. They took a lot from Uncharted 4 with like these open worlds, but it's kind of linear. Um I think they took it up a notch where there are other like buildings or doors that you can open. It feels like almost any door I can open. Yeah. Yeah. And like that part with Dino, um, Seattle day one. Um, yeah. You can go to that building, to that building. And then you don't have to, but you find like more loot, you can find more weapons and then you can eventually get to your main quest, which is really nice. It makes the, I don't know. It just makes the storytelling more organic where like it's realistic where I can just go wherever I want. If it, it just fools me that it's, you know, it's linear, but it feels open world. Yeah. I, I think this, this game played really well. Like yeah. the things that we complained about are like, don't take away from the overall experience. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I'm trying to think of, uh, again, I don't play a lot of single player games. The last single player game I played was like Spider-Man. If you want to talk about repetitive, like that game. Like <laughs> oh that my lot. god, like that game is repetitive. That yeah. game, the overrated, but the best Spider-Man game I ever played. But overrated. Yeah, that's what I like. Is like it's the first game where you like you really feel like Spider-Man. But um, yeah, you want to talk about man, 
That's all I'm saying. People, I, I want to, I want the receipts. The people who gave this game a low score, I want to see what they gave Spider Man. <laughs> they gave it a high score. Oh, they man. love that mini game where you had to do the DNA, uh, dark arc <laughs> shit. I'm like, oh my god, I have to do this testing tubes again. Uh, Jeez. Right. Um, but yeah, like there, there are some people who like were were looking for something, uh, like something different, like a dramatic change, like some God of War. Um, trilogy to the new God of War. It's like holy shit, this is totally different from the other games. But I thought it was fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and just add more little things to make it um more unique or yeah. more more tools in the game or to the playground, right? So it it felt yeah. like a part two, right? Like, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like let's like I want to be very clear. I feel like there's a difference between calling it two and part two. Mm -hmm. Like it feels like they expanded on on the first game. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was a, I wanted something like a jump from like a God of War trilogy to the new God of War. Yeah, I wanted something like that, but I wasn't mad at this. I was like, yeah, I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why my like I was so nitpicky about the gameplay of the AIs. Like, it's, nothing's really changed too much. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not a bad thing. It's just, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so like a little cleaner. Like everything is just a lot cleaner. Yeah. Oh, and one thing that I like about the gameplay, the 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 swap weapon button, like the quick swap weapon mechanic, like you can actually just change your weapon quicker. You don't have to use a D-pad. I'm like, yes. So it's just f more fluid. Um, so they kind of just added on the first one. So that's what I liked about it. What do you mean by quick swap? Um, if you tap R1, you uh, you can quick swap to the next one oh i didn't even know that i just you know again i was playing off the first game and i just did what i my muscle memory hey, did you told didn't me even you didn't even upgrade your weapon <laughs> <laughs> okay what dude, you didn't even upgrade dude, your skills dude, I, I did all that with no scope i was doing some was like a... drop shot and like trying to calculate the the drop I was like, and how did you have i was like how do you have that much scrap like to or the supplements there's so like, many pills because well what stopped me was like 300 so <laughs> So what stopped me was like I'm upgrading right, and then when it hit like, oh, you want the um the sense for clarity? I'm like, oh no, that I didn't like it in the first game because it was cheating. I'm not like I don't have X-ray visions, right? And I like how it is already where I I wanted part two to have like some some blurry vision where you have a sense of idea where that person is. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when it hit like, oh, when you declared, you want the clarity part? I'm like, no, I don't want that. So I stopped like upgrading and. Yeah, and if, sometimes I forget about the medicine because I just want to get scraps and little bolts for my guns, and I just mm. really want to get the the capacity because I think the capacity is more important because there's a lot of you need ammo, you know, right? Yeah, so, yeah for sure. Um, yeah, I think that listening mode it's a lot more. Uh, I think it's a lot more fair compared to the first one. First one was like kind of broken a little bit. This one they kind of like kind of pulled back, so you can't really like see everyone mm -hmm. on the map um even if you fully upgrade it i fully upgraded and it's like damn I, there's so many people i still can't see which is yeah nice. yeah i see people from afar i'm like oh no i can't get a visual on him yeah this um. game's a lot more scarier than the first one because the first one i played it without the listen mode mm -hmm. this one i feel like i can't <laughs> like i can't do it it's tough not to use it because yeah. everyone's so sneaky. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. But yeah. yeah. Should we move on to the next? Yeah. So.